Hello, this is Kathleen McKee of Olene.com Machine Embroidery Art. A large part of what we digitize includes text. I'm going to talk about keyboard text first, and that is text that we type in on our keyboard. You will find under the home key the little A icon, it says text, and it has a little drop down area. And when you open it up, we have three text options. The regular text applies to most applications that we will be using uh, with text. The small text, when we need to have very small text and we need it to be legible, we will uh, use probably one of the options in uh, this. Uh, selection. And monograms is a whole different thing. I'll do a different lesson on that later. But let's use our regular text. Click on that and then it switches to the text tab. When I open that up we see the first five are the last five texts that we have used. The next 120 styles are what we call built-in fonts. These are fonts that the software has digitized and they have been chosen to look specifically well with embroidery. The true type fonts are as numerous as you have true type fonts in your computer. However many true types you have in your computer, they're going to show up when you pull this drop down menu. Doesn't mean they're all going to look well when the software digitizes them, but uh, they will be available. When you choose a true type font for digitizing, you have to be considerate of whether it will look good when it's digitized. I've chosen two text they're kind of similar in shape, uh, so you can see the difference between them. First, we're going to go with a built-in uh, font, and that's going to be this block 3 or number 10. And I'm going to type in, in all caps on my keyboard, A, B, C, and I'm going to press the Enter key, or you can left mouse it to enter it. Next, I'm going to choose a true type font. So we're going to, and I've already pre selected it, so it will be in the top five. And it's going to be this true type font, uh, Bologna. And I'm going to type ABC there as well. ABC, press enter or left mouse, and now we have a built in font and a true type font. Now the first difference you're going to notice is the uh, selector uh, squares around here. Uh, they come above in a true type font. And when you have a built in font, it isn't. I don't know why this is, but they essentially still work the same. In other words, they, all, they both have this little diamond that you can select and you can move it and you can change the color. Uh, and uh, and same with the true type font does the same select it move it they both have the ability to be uh, transformed when you select it you can select the transform box and you can transform them so uh, in that way they both work the same now, just because it's been digitized by the software, uh, it doesn't mean it's digitized any better than a true type font would be. In this case, with this built-in font, I don't like the way it crosses over here. I think that that looks wonky. I don't care for that. I don't really care for that either. What we can do to correct that is to select it go to our text tab and we can convert it to blocks and then when we see the little blue outline around it we know that it has been grouped so we need to go to our group key under the home tab and ungroup it and now when we select it we can go to our edit point and I can select and I can press my delete key I can delete press delete press, delete. 
and that looks a little bit better that's going to show up better also I'm not sure um, under sewing attributes the half stitch is checked because you can see these stitches pulled out but I don't believe that is the default I think I had that uh, selected earlier and as you can see in this true type font it uh, really seems to be uh, digitized a little bit better other things that you can do and then both of them work exactly the same is when you select the text you have the ability to put a outline around it oh, we have to select it first you have the ability to have no fill and uh, this works the same on built-in or true type fonts but every font is different be it built-in or true type some are digitized perfectly beautifully the first time others not so much but the one thing you do want to check before you do sew out or digitize any font is you want to check because the default is a satin stitch you want to make sure you measure to see if that's going to be too long for a uh, satin stitch and this is a little too long for a satin stitch in that it's over uh, nine millimeters I mean it will still do it before it drops down a stitch but what I would suggest here is maybe uh, increasing the density so you have uh, better coverage you also want to check for any digitizing flaws as we caught in uh, this built-in font they have just as many digitizing flaws in the true types as well so check for that and um, I will go into some of the details of small and large text in the next lessons